Welcome back to PHP Rod front end block making. The last time we were able to do um, our navbar, we were able to uh, make a search bar on the top of the navbar, which is actually working. Let's say we want to search something like a ball. As you can see, we have a ball here. Let's search something like hello. Good, we don't have hello in our database so far. So as, as we can see, it's actually working. The next thing we want to do is to create this tag on top. So it's more, it's more of categories. So let's get into it. We open our page and as you can see, it's empty. So we create a new page. To create a new page, just this icon, click on it and name the page something. I will name it SM list. If this thing is toggled on, you can uncheck it to be empty like this because you don't want it to add it to your menu. So we'll add that. We want to do some few things. First of all, we don't want this ID to show up. So we we'll close it. We just want to have this thing. Secondly, we want to move it from a table to a grid. And we want to change from call SM4 to call SM auto. Also, we want to remove all this. It's not necessary for us. The display, we want it to be known. I mean, the labeling display, we want it to be known. The delete button, we don't want to show it. The edit button, we don't want to show it. The view button, we don't want to show it as well. Moving down. The pagination, we want to turn it to false. This one, just leave it the way it is. And let's come here and add it on our home page. On top of our home page. Not actually, it's actually tags. Then under tags, we are looking for SM list. We drag it and drop here. Good. Another thing you want to make sure that you do is yours may be something like this container just move it to container fluid you may have something like p3 mb3 just remove the padding to, to and leave, leave it with mb3 so like and completely remove it come and the next thing is the thing we just dragged over here we want to toggle this some few things we don't want to show header we don't want to show footer and the pagination as well we don't want to show it make it false then preview boom we have it but it seems like it's too close to our navbar so you want to style the tag slash sm list itself you come to wrapper class and add p3 which stands for padding 3 as you can see it have you know padded it for us <coughs> in a nicer way i think we are done for this tutorial and in, the, in our next class, we are going to look at how to make our banner. But before I call it a day, I will just want to show you something. I promise to teach you some stuff about um, bootstrap classes. So let me take this chance to do that. First of all, let's start with MY, which stands for, which is equals to margin. Margin y axis so when you when you type this my obviously you have to give it a value something like um example eg we can have something like my one so it's going to add a margin to a card and i think we should we should we should we should give an example let's say p p3 p4 bg bg um bg danger danger preview good so um when we say my we're actually adding some margins on top here and some margin bottom here so as you increase the number the margins increases the maximum margin for bootstrap is five so i'll just show you some example 
Let's give this guy a margin of M Y five, the maximum. And you will notice what will happen. It's going to move from here down. As you can see, it has moved the margin. They have moved it up. And also, if there is some content down, it will push those contents down too. So that you have more spaces. Good. So let's talk about, let's clean this MY and talk about MX. MX obviously stands for copy V. It obviously stands for merging X axis. MX. So I will give this guy MX of um, MX of five maximum. Good. You can see it has added some margins by the side. All right. So the next thing we want to do is uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to talk about P. P Y. P stands for padding. When you say P Y, that's actually padding Y axis. So at least I'm sure you understand the meaning of y whenever we ask add y or x then maybe you don't want to pad along the y axis you just want to merge on top or pad on top or pad bottom or you know you just specify with m let me show you something let's say m stands for merging as we all know by now m for merging then we want to merge the top say t and just give it the value you want for or you want to merge bottom just mb and give it the value you want or you want to p which is padding t which padding top so padding bottom so the next thing we we'll also want to talk about is um what else do i want to show you what else do i want to okay i think for now this is is okay as we go on maybe i will find something to talk about I don't want this video to be long so i will cut it here thank you so much for your time thank you for your time